Right, the question asked was, uh, what's the difference between our UV systems, because how, it's, how many people would designate us is that we use UV frequencies, which is true, and let's say other large manufacturers that, that fabricate HVAC systems, and they also have uh, a UV system. Well, the difference is that uh, the other companies use a single wavelength, as uh, exemplified by this tube, and uh, the 254 nanometer frequency, which is what's used as a single frequency by other companies, uh, did get the Nobel Peace Prize in 1903, and it is fully capable of, of neutralizing bacteria, virus, and fungal spores. However, this is how it works. It has to be within a one inch above a Petri dish with the uh, microorganism of interest, or within a foot. Beyond that, it dies off by about 80%. So it has to be in close proximity, and to get a 99% kill or a two log reduction, it must be in proximity for 14.5 seconds. So if you've got a realistic HVAC system here, and it's blowing air vertically this way past the optics, because they're always at right angles to the airflow, how is it that you can attain that 14 and a half seconds in residence time before it moves on? And it's just not going to happen. So uh, in a quick conclusion, it's just in, the laws of physics don't permit it to do that. There's just not enough uh, resonance or holding time in order to affect the kill. The difference with our system is that we've got multiple frequencies that generate the hydroxyls, and they can follow up the tube or the plenum system and, and chase after bacteria, virus, fungal spores, even the gases, and uh, seek out and destroy them and neutralize them. Another thing that goes along with uh, the, uh, the mechanical systems is they rely heavily on filtration, which is still a good idea. But when you've got face loading on there and you might have live organisms, which is very, very uh, probable and uh, ver very likely, uh, they will agglomerate and, and uh, they will start putting out their, uh, their bioaerosol. In other words, they sneeze out a much smaller particle called a spore and that would populate your, uh, either the home or your business. So uh, when you're using the hydroxyls, you will still get them to, to uh, impress upon the, uh, the filtration, but the hydroxyls will sterilize or at least sanitize that face so that they can't carry through and, and uh, their offspring carry on downstream. So that's a, a, a very important designation between a lamp that may look a lot like ours, uh, but we have the ability to put multiple frequencies into our reaction chamber where the uh, competitor always uses a single frequency, and that is at 254, which is not designed to create hydroxyls and affect change at a distance.